this little recording technical thing I discovered yesterday. Now, if you're like me and have a USB interface that you use for recording your guitars or whatever, uh, you might find this video somewhat helpful. Uh, the thing is, I've had a problem uh, with input monitoring uh, for some time now. <coughs> and it's quite nasty when you're trying to uh, record the tracks and you're using impulses or effects that you want to hear uh, during recording. Uh, it's next to impossible to do when your sound gets fucked up like this. Not good at all. Uh, the reason this occurs is... Uh, let me show you. Um, the reason this occurs uh, is uh, the audio device I'm using. Now, if you can see this, uh, the audio device I have chosen uh, to use is Wave Out, uh, which means that it's using uh, the integrated Realtek sound card, which uh, takes up a lot of CPU time uh, when monitoring uh, the tracks. And when you are recording something, it's good to have a really low latency, like um, less than 10 milliseconds and uh, with this setup uh, it's impossible to record anything. Fortunately uh, this amazing idea uh, slapped me in the face uh, last night. Uh, I thought to myself what if I chose to use uh, my Line 6 interface as my sound card? Uh, I just wanted to try out if that would work and essentially what I did uh, is I chose uh, the audio system to be uh, this ASIO thing and since there isn't any other device for that ASIO driver uh, I chose the GX and because I'm running uh, the output of my GX uh, through my computer's integrated sound card um, I would have to enable uh, the line in playback mode from the Realtek settings. Okay. Next I wanted to try out if this setup works at all so I inserted a track, uh, enabled the record monitoring and arm the track and it seems to work quite nicely. <clears throat> After that I loaded up uh, the usual stuff uh, which is Podfarm 2 plugin uh, with a nice preset that I had worked on. Let's see... Gent 3 Disabled the cabinet and post EQ and loaded up Bugex uh, with a nice orange cab simulation uh, with 57. Uh, this and now I'm gonna play some random riffs uh, just to show how this setup works. So, yeah, hopefully, this video proved to be helpful uh, for somebody and. I'm amazed uh, that I hadn't figured this out before, so if there's anyone who's more professional than I am uh, in recording technical things, um, uh, this might have seemed uh, a little noobish, but um, anyway, it works and I'm fine with it, so that's about it.